All right, Clark, this is Assistant Scoutmaster Henderson. Mr. Schneider and I are here, and this is coming into camp. And when you come into camp, we're gonna be on the red side. You can see the red tree, the markings on the trees. Over here is the blue, that's where we put the trailer. There's your latrine. So our side of camp is over here. I think this initial area here, we're gonna use for the old goats patrol since it's at the front of camp. But it's your decision ultimately uh, talking to uh, Mr. Vart and Mr. Brawls. And there are three other distinct areas that you can use. If you walk down the trail that's to the right, opposite of what we're going to call the old goats area for now, you come to this distinct area back here where there are obviously already tents set up but no dining fly. I think this area is plenty big enough for one of the... Uh, one of the smaller patrols, you even have an area back there that you could put another tent or even your dining fly. You could put your dining fly out here or you see where the picnic table is down there, you could put your dining fly. One thing to be aware of, there's a little bit of a washout right here. This low area that I'm looking at right now is a little bit of a washout. So I think you're going to need to relocate this tent back a little bit and maybe relocate this first tent behind, back a little bit or relocate it to where this picnic table is, if possible. So you might have to do some tent relocation, no big deal. We continue to walk around. Down this trail, we come to the main gathering area where the flagpole is. You see these three picnic tables that are up here? Right behind this tree is the flagpole. And then that's the old goat area in the front of camp again. So back here you have a very large area, lots of open spaces, which is probably a good spot for your uh, smoldering sticks patrol, since they're going to have more tents. I think they'll need probably six tents. So big area here, and a, fun, a good area for your dining fly right here, or even where those picnic tables are. And then we come back here, it's another distinct area. Not as separate as the other ones, but it would still work out fine. You've got three tents already set up. And this is still in the red area. And you've got a space behind these trees that you could either put your dining fly, most logical thing, or another couple of tents. And you've also got this big open area we're walking in now. And this area up here that's open for... Uh, tents if necessary. Keep in mind that right now we're only about 30 meters from the latrine so you don't want anybody too close to the latrine so I'd recommend that you stay behind this tree with the red mark on it here and setting up this patrol area. And as we walk back up by the latrine, your latrine is here. Way over there is your sump. I don't know if you can see it in the video but it's uh, in between the trees and the little bush. It's about two foot tall bush on the left. There's a garbage can and a sump. And we can come back up to where we parked the two trailers. We parked the trailers on the blue side, which is the side we do not use for camping. But in past years, they've let us park trailers on it. And then we come back up to the main entrance. So, a little intel before you get down here, do a little pre-planning. I'll see you soon.